Can I fix it, boy? Listen, Buster, what I know about fixing these buggies, the fella was in here just the other day, the same model fix it in a jiffy. Needs a new carburetor, generator shot, pistons, loose wiring, batteries, busted plugs, brakes, cylinders, cracked air. Yep, looks like all you need is a new motor. <laughs> so, uh, in case you didn't quite catch that right, uh, last time we discovered severe damage on the conrod and crankshaft bearings in my engine paired with quite some scoring in the cylinder walls, so I decided it needs a rebuild by a professional. In order to do that, the engine has to come apart and uh, get out of the car, and I'll have to check the block to make sure that it is in a salvageable condition, uh, because if it's just worn or cracked or anything of that nature, it's not worth saving, and it's rather looking into a new engine. So, that's what's going to happen today. Stay tuned and enjoy! Now stop the music right there. Stop it. Stop. No, 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 no. Look, last year I bought these guys here, genuine Ford replica in the red like they've always been. And um, look at this. This is after, well, three, three quarters of a year of use. <laughs> it's just peeling apart. Junk. Okay, now you can continue with your dang music. I went down to St. James Infirmary, saw my baby there, stretched out on a lawn table so sweet so cold so fair let her go let her go god bless her wherever she may be she can look this wide world over she'll never find a sweet man like me when i die i want you to dress me in straight lace shoes Box back coat and Stetson hat Put a twenty dollar gold piece on my watch chain So the boys will know I died standing pat funny to me is this is the cylinder with the big ridge so it must have been the one that was burning oil right or was it this valve here is bent and this one even more so we're just going to pull the valve guides I think I found the reason for the poor compression may not have been the ridge after all this valve here Take a close look at the seat. That's pretty gummed up. When I turn this to the point where it closes, I mean a blind man can see that that's not closing all the way, and it's kind of hard to <coughs> turn. So the the stem actually hooked up now. The stem 
maybe dirty or something and it's not closing all the way. Evaluation time. We've got minimal deposits over here. Funnily enough, we do have deposits on the intake side. You know, must be that modern type gasoline, that junk they sell with the ethanol and whatnot. Thanks, Obama. This guy was the oil burner, clearly. This one had a plain old broken spring in it, and it was broken in a way, you know, way up in there, so you wasn't able to see it. But uh, judging from the heavy deposits on here, Maybe this one wasn't closing properly either. This guy here was the oil burner. I haven't cleaned this shaft whatsoever, and I haven't cleaned that one. And you can see that all the sludge wandered down into the valve guide. And this one happens to be the one with the most slop as well. This is the guy that wasn't closing properly and was starting to bind. You can see maybe a very nice score mark in here. This is pretty deep. And uh, funnily enough, no trace of, you know, debris or uh, any sort of contaminant in the valve guide. Also, my engine is the diamond block type, which is a replacement, um, as can be seen by the diamond on the block. This stamp right here might be, you know, 14th of January 1935. Would make sense. I decided I will already start loosening the bolts that connect the engine side flywheel housing to the gearbox side flywheel housing because number one it's going to rest on the spline going through and number two we've still got these guys here so I should be safe you know regarding the transmission and the engine. Since the bolts for it are accessible I'll also pull the entire uh, throttle linkage when I lock up my flat, put on my Sunday hat, it always starts to rain. While I'm indoors it's great, but when I reach the gate, it always starts to rain. Yo. Yo, whoa, 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 whoa. Stop. Already for EV transformation. Already for V8 motor swap. Was habe ich getan? Alright, now that we're in the shop, we can really start tearing into this thing. I think I'll start with the engine mount, just to have it out of the way. And then the flywheel, the housing, crankshaft, camshaft, and so on. Let's go!
How do you like the cash bar, little one? Man, I dig it. Well, the easy part is done. Stripping everything to bits. Now it's off to an engine builder. As I pulled it right there. Um, the situation is updating as we speak. Uh, I've gotten tons and tons of comments on what can be done and what to do to the engine to improve uh, reliability, to improve uh, you know maintenance friendliness and power and smoothness and whatnot. Um, those options are so incredibly much that I can't just you know line them all up in a short video and summarize it in a couple of sentences. Uh, combine that with the ongoing count of subscribers, which has passed 5,000 recently, I think uh, it might be a great idea to make a stream about it. And uh, who better to talk with during the stream than uh, Clay from the channel Everything Man. Uh, he has got two Model A's, uh, he's about my age, and he's just about as crazy as I am. So. Um, yeah, we are going to go into detail about all the different options that you can give a stock Model A engine and uh, summarize the pros and cons, maybe a little bit of mechanical background and uh, then you know combine that into my personal solution of what I want to have done to the engine while it's at the engine builder and how everything is going to go down. Haven't got a date yet, I'm in the middle of XM phase right now so uh, it could be a while, but um, you know, I'm trying to fiddle things around so your thirst for news can be stilled. And uh, in the meantime, thank you very much for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Bye!